Ibrahim alayhi salam as a young boy when he questioned his father and he tricked the community by destroying some of those idols and when they came back from their festival and saw the idols were smashed he actually when questioned said well ask them what happened if they could only speak and they knew the idols couldn't speak so they had beef with him they really did not like what he did they wanted to get back at him they expelled him from the community at some point they tried to harm him and allah always saved him but he looked at when he went to a place called haran and out in the open he saw the stars and he says you know what these stars are better than the idols that my father was carving he did not worship the stars he only considered the greatness of the stars and then he says no 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 when the stars began to disappear he said it can't be this can't be my lord and then a little while later he saw the moon beautiful nice bright shining moon he looked at the moon he says well this is shining brighter than the stars this is actually even better he did not worship the moon but he was considering looking for his creator who created me who made me and so when he looked at the moon and the moon began to also set you know the moon sets and it began to disappear he said that can't be my lord he says oh my lord if you're not going to guide me whoever you are i'm going to be misguided you guide me the prayer and supplication for guidance is the most important prayer you and i could ever make <laughs> guide us to the straight path we repeat it every day wallahi my brothers my sisters the dua the supplication you make the most Powerful of all of them is to ask Allah for guidance. May Allah guide me and guide all of us and keep us on the straight path. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, he continually asked Allah to guide him. He saw the sun rise in the morning and he was excited because for the first time, even though throughout his life, he used to see the sun every day, but it was the first time he considered the greatness of the sun. That's why Allah says, when you look into the creation of Allah, the night and the day and the way it moves and the sun and the moon and so on, you will discover the greatness of the maker thereafter. But for us, every day we look at things, we take it for granted. Take a moment. Allah says, Don't go too far. Look inside yourself. Take a look at your organs. Each one of them is a sign of the existence of Allah how they work, how it happens. You're looking at me, I'm looking at you. You're breathing effortlessly, subhanAllah. Your heart is pumping 136,000 times a day and you don't even realize. Allahu Akbar. Allah says, and you still think we don't exist. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Each one of your limbs, your organs, your ears, your lips, your nose, your, your nostrils, the hair in your nose and why it's there is just a miracle from Allah. It's not a coincidence. Those who tell you that are actually not even dreaming because a dream itself is a miracle. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. May Allah Almighty grant us guidance. So Ibrahim alayhi salam looks at the sun and he says, you know what? Wow, this is bigger than all of it. Wow. He's looking. He did not worship the sun, but he's considering where is my maker? And then he realized something powerful, the most powerful statement. And the Quran has it in the Quran. I turn my face in worship to the one who created the heavens and the earth, the skies and the earth. Everything I'm seeing, whoever made this, he is my Lord. And I turn my face to him alone without associating a single partner with him in worship. And I will worship him and him alone. He discovered Allah. 